DOT, DO, DOT cams. And oh my gosh, at 6.30 this morning, there were half a dozen surfers out. Now there's none, probably because the waves died down. But I'm hoping there's some little waves um, still there for me. I mean, I won't get there for another two and a half hours. But I brought my boogie boards and um, my smaller Ben Gravy foam board. So I'm just hoping to have some fun. I'm gonna try out my new wetsuit that I just got from Wetsuit Warehouse last weekend. So that should be, should be fun. Just gotta try it out. I just passed the exits for downtown DC for the Capitol. And they have dump trucks with plows on them because uh, they, they use them for snow plows and stuff in the winter on the freeways. Um, so they have dump trucks parked next to each entrance ramp along with a DC Metro police car or two, and then paddy wagons. Um, so that's basically a van for those not in the US. It's a van, a police van where if they're having like mass arrests and everything, they can stuff as many people as they can into those vans and everything. So, because um, right now, they have a truck point, uh, truck convoy circling DC, and um, it's peaceful so far. So they're just circling. Um, it's mostly pickup trucks. They have some semi trucks, and they've come across the country and from Canada as well because they just had a trucker convoy protest in Canada. And they're circling the Beltway, which is 495, the freeway, and they're just waving their flags and stuff like that. So it's to protest um, some of the mandates and everything. That's what's happening right now. I saw a bunch of them yesterday when I went to my swim lesson. But anyway, we're gonna go surf today. Hopefully, or boogie board. Boogie boarding's fun too. But, um, and yeah, hopefully have a good time and test out the wetsuit.
finished my search session, as you can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna have to um, just soak my hair and conditioner tonight. It's in a braid, but the front pieces come out. Had so much fun. I caught, oh my gosh, probably a dozen waves. I shouldn't have brought the longboard. I definitely shouldn't have brought it down to the beach. That was a huge mistake and a huge pain in the butt. But I brought my white soft top bed gravy board and for the first time ever I was able to stand up on that and for the first time ever I was able to stand up on a short board so I'm ecstatic. Only been surfing for eight years inconsistently. It was so much fun. You know I wasn't sure if I'd ever be able to stand up on a short board but I was able to just paddle into some waves and I really took the advice of my friend who I went surfing with last time and he told me where to stand because here you can wait out really far because there's a jetty and um, so you don't have to sit there like paddle out and then sit there and you know try to fight the current or anything and waste it. I just was standing up with my hand on the board and then he had told me last time like watch the wave and where it breaks and all, you know all that stuff so gave me some pretty good advice and I was able to catch a ton of waves actually but it was so exciting. I mean I wasn't able to ride them for for very long I mean the waves weren't that great today I showed up at the beach and I was like oh should I have come and I was like I just need to try out the wetsuit I brought the boogie boards I did boogie board for a little bit afterwards um, but yeah that was so much fun I'm definitely bringing the Ben gravy board a lot more uh, whenever I go with my friends they're always like oh just bring a long board you'll be able to catch more waves I feel like I can catch the waves a lot better on the Ben gravy board on the short board. I guess it's because I know like I need to get up like fast and because I kind of stall getting up popping up on the long board. And, oh man that was so fun. I felt like my leash was a little too short but then I measured it against the board and it says you know you're supposed to have it a little bit longer than the board and it was so I don't know. Surfing is very frustrating. I'm so excited I was able to catch waves today. Ugh. And it's not um, as intimidating as the longboard, or excuse me, as my, um, I have a fish that's fiberglass, shortboard obviously, if it hits you or if the fin hits you, it hurts a lot. <laughs> I've actually never caught a wave on that thing, so Ooh, look at all these Jeeps. Or you can check out my Jeep channel at Jurassic Jeep DC, I'll link it down below and then I'll put it here. Great session, gonna head home. Great closeout to the weekend. I don't regret going out, the drive is I wouldn't say it's pretty. I mean, it's like the eastern shore of Maryland and Delaware, so it's like not that scenic. But it's farmland, and it's a lot more scenic than going down 95 to Virginia Beach. So I'm gonna go find some food and head home. Got the Wawa special. Coffee and lemonade and a little ice cream since it's 80 degrees today. I got my dipping dots. Um, so I look like a total crackhead right now. I really do. And there's somebody right in front of me. Um, and I went into Waha, w Wawa and ordered a sandwich. I, this is only the second time I've ordered a sandwich from them because I didn't even know that Wawa did deli sandwiches, but my friend showed me last time. And I didn't know you have to pay for it first. Like they make it at the counter, but apparently you're supposed to take the receipt after you use the kiosk and go pay for it at the cashier, at the cash register, which I don't know why they just don't have you pay for it at the kiosk, that would make sense. I went to grab the sandwich along with my coffee and drink and go, and go up to the cashier and she was like, you have to pay for it first and pulled it back. I was like, and then I, she walked around the corner. So I grabbed it and I walked towards where she was and she was looked at me like, I was like, uh, do I pay for it here? She's like, no, no, you have to pay for it at the cash register, but leave it here. I'm like, and the gas station was huge. I've definitely taken my surfing to the next level, low level, but I was actually able to catch unbroken waves today, so I'm very excited about that. I actually went ahead and scheduled a surf lesson in New Jersey for later this month. It's a four hour drive, so I'm not excited about that, but it's in the indoor wave pool, the Scudden Surf Dream or whatever. I'm excited about that because I definitely need a surf lesson. And the wetsuit was great. The only issue, slight issue, was the zipper part on the chest. Like you could definitely feel the water come in through that. So, but that's to be expected because that's where the opening is. But other than that, it was pretty good. It was nice and warm. I was out there for two hours. Had the waves all to myself for two hours. There were some crappy waves and there were some good waves and there were some crappy ones. It was a good day and I'm glad I went. 
So I realized I never did an outro video, so here it is. Definitely excited that I was able to catch Unbroken Waves and write the shortboards, and now I'm like, I'm looking up surfboard fees for airlines and stuff. My shortboards? I guess I'm getting a little overconfident, but a lot of places rent in different surfing destinations. Hey, Sniffs! Ash, do you want to surf? So I'm going to be, hopefully, doing a lot of traveling this year. I have, <laughs> she really likes my makeup. Um, I have a trip planned to, oh, the headphones tangled. Got a trip planned to Outer Banks this year. It's uh, for a Jeep event. I'm definitely bringing my boards. My friend is driving her Jeep and she said I could bring um, a board. So I'm just going to check the forecast and see what it's like and which boards I can bring. And then for work, I'm most likely going to be traveling internationally. And if there are places that have surfing, I'm going to try and rent. And if not, I'll just have to pay to bring my board. I still have sand in my scalp. I washed my hair and showered yesterday, but I'm still finding sand. Got a couple road trips planned, possibly with one of them, possibly just driving down a coast and checking out different surf destinations and checking out waves. So that will be very exciting. I hope we'll at least be able to travel a couple, once or twice this year internationally. Um, after the past two years, nobody's been able to travel or it's been very difficult to travel internationally. Everybody's in the same boat, so everybody's gonna start traveling again soon. And gas prices are really going up because Russia just invaded last week week before last. Yeah, it's been about a week. Um, Russia just invaded Ukraine and so everybody's boycotting uh, Russian oil. But yeah, I mean, if that's the only thing we have to, only negative thing we have to uh, experience from this, we are pretty lucky here. We have our freedom, we have our safety, we have our health. We're not losing our homes or our lives or anything like that. Yeah, so that's going on. So that should affect prices, unfortunately, of travel. But I think a lot of people are going to be traveling this summer, unfortunately. I mean, we can't expect people to just stay at home. They've been doing that for the past year. I'm hoping to have a lot more surf footage. One of my personal trips I'm taking will be international. Well, I'm thinking about taking, not set in stone, but it will be international and it will be in a place where they're surfing. And I have decided that I am going to Bali, Indonesia, someday, not this year. But yeah, I'm hoping to make more videos, film and edit more videos. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about filming and editing those videos and just getting them out. They'll be good memories to keep. Anyway, thanks for watching um, and hopefully I will have more surf trips to the eastern shore as well.